Jackson. On first learning your pole sit, put your pole on step. To start, I always put some grip on my hands and in between my legs because in between my legs is the part that's going to be holding me up. To do a sit, I decide which leg I want on top. I like to put my right leg on top, so I'm going to hold the pole with my right arm on top. I face the pole, I take my left leg, and I put it on the pole. I'm going to use my arms to pull myself up, just like I'm doing a pull-up. I'm going to take my other leg, and I'm going to cross it over the top. After it's crossed over the top, you release your arms and sink into the position. When you sink, your skin is going to pull up on the pole, creating a nice grip. You can lean back and out, you can straighten the leg, you can straighten both legs. There's a lot of variations you can do in this skill. Feel free to play with it. When I open my chest, I always open away from my top leg. If my right is on top, I'm going to open facing away from my right leg. If I open towards my right leg, I'm twisting and it's harder to get a nicer, bigger line. Most people, when holding the pole between their legs, need to grow a tolerance. At first it hurts, but you will get used to it and it will become easy. So just keep practicing. After you get the sit close to the ground, try it up in the air. You're going to climb up the pole, put one leg on, wrap your other one around, and then you're going to melt into the position, allowing your skin to be pulled up to grip the pole. I find that turning my legs in also helps me grip the pole. I climbed up, I'm holding tight with my arms, I stick my one leg out as I put the other one on top. When first starting, people have a lot of success when they cross the other one rather than keeping it straight up. You can even bend both if that's what makes you feel more comfortable. After you're on the pole and you feel secure, then it's time to strike a pose. To get out of this position, I pull up and I really pull tight with my arms like I'm doing a pull up. I release my legs as I put them back on the pole and I slide back down. Instead of just going into your pulse in, a lot of people like to get into the position by doing a fan. Band kick is when one leg starts and goes around in a circle as the other one follows. If you want to end your sit with your left leg on top, then you need to start on the left side of the pole. If you want to end with your right leg on top, then you need to start on the right side of the pole. Try doing the fan kick just next to the pole and ending in a standing position. If I'm on the left side of the pole, I'm going to start with my inside leg, which is my right leg. My right arm is on top. I'm going to take my right leg and point it to the left as I circle it around. After it comes about halfway, I'm going to pull using my arms as my left leg comes up and follows and twists me towards the pole. Try that a few times and think about ending towards the pole and looking forward. After you think you got that down, try and connect it to the sit. My right leg is going to come around and it's going to pass through the pole on the side that I was starting on. And my left leg is going to finish on the opposite side, so I end up sitting on the pole. My right leg starts, it goes around, my left follows, I twist towards the pole, and end in a sit. I did on the floor. 